Hello students, welcome to day two of chemistry. I want to take a moment and explain what you're going to be working on today. If you look in the week one folder, which is where we're at, you'll notice that there's going to be more materials that have appeared. You're going to want to get these materials done today. And if you look at the weekly, the pacing guide, you'll see kind of exactly what we're going to do. First thing to note, if you didn't finish things from yesterday, you're going to want to get those done and you hopefully work on them relatively quickly. If you find yourself getting behind in the materials, you might need to do some things at home. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is finish up our, our understanding of safety and syllabus. The very first thing is a portfolio review. We're going to review the learning target that we put in our portfolio 0.1, and then we're going to take a test on that information. Remember, your portfolio is extremely important and it's found in your profile. If you go to your por profile and click on portfolios, that's where we created that portfolio to house that information. So you'll click on your science course. Now we're going to be looking at target 0 0.1, which is probably the only target you have in there right now. But this is where you're going to want to read the header with the code 0 0.1, safety and syllabus, and the description, which includes the learning targets that we pasted in there. This is what you're going to be tested on, and this is what you need to prove in this portfolio that you know how to do. So notice I copied that statement in there. First one is I can recall and explain the five rules for lab safety and relate them to specific lab safety practices. Now under that I'm going to include information. I might include pictures or bullet points to be able to show that I can be able to do this target. Notice it says I can explain the five rules for lab safety. I might list those five rules but it also says I need to relate them to specific lab safety practices. So for each of the rules I might write some specific lab practices that we should follow. The next target talks about classroom procedures and daily expectations, how to get help in improving my grade. So same thing, I might throw that statement in my text area down here and show that I understand what the daily expectations are, where I get help, and what do I do if I want to improve my grade. All right, so jumping back to the course and going to the unit one folder and the week one folder, the next part, the first half of class after the reviewing the safety and syllabus, is we're going to add more targets. We're going to start learning chemistry content. So in our portfolio, this is going to guide us through adding targets 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 and 1.3. All of them are unit one targets. Then we're going to start learning about target 1.1, which is all about models of an atom. The first assignment is you drawing a model of an atom based on just memory. It's okay if you get it wrong, just put what you know. It's just a way to kind of get that information down there and see how I can help you. Then you're gonna do an activity where you're gonna use a simulation to learn about atoms and their parts and their different properties, as well as review that first learning target. So the first half of class is all about target 1.1. The last half of class is gonna be split by group A and group B. If you are in person, you are part of group A, and you're going to be doing the flame test lab. So physically, I have stations set up around the room, and I'll help you guys get started with that in class. For you guys who are at home learning, if you're part of group B, I'll see you the next time we meet in person, and you'll be doing that. If you're a distant learner, there's an online version of this lab, a video version that you'll follow along. So you're welcome to get started on this lab. So group A is going to do the flame test today, and group B is going to do the flame test next time. What group B is going to do today is start working on the notes. So you're going to watch these video notes and then take a little self-assessment to make sure you understand. And then group A is going to do these notes basically the next time we meet. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in Google Meet chat or ask questions if you're meeting in real in, in person. Um, I hope good luck, guys. Be sure to stay on top of things. And like I said, if then you feel yourself getting a little bit behind, you might need to do some of this stuff at home to make sure to get caught up. Good luck.